morning, wherever you're watching this. Welcome in to another edition of Talking Fitchburg, coming to you from the newsroom today. As uh, there's this huge bridge tournament going on in our studio, so uh, thus we come here. Hello everybody, Jeremy Crosby in today. I'm flying solo, Preston off, and uh, Andrew, who knows? Maybe he's in the cave trying to find light, or maybe he's just on the other side of the office working. We don't know, but he'll all be back on Monday. Uh, busy show today, so I'm going to get right to it. Uh, we'll talk a little bit on the headlines this morning and get you ready for the crime prevention picnic this weekend. Yeah, that's happening on Saturday. We'll talk a little bit about that. And then on uh, our digest segment, just in case you missed it, yeah, that's a whole week of events uh, that you missed here. We'll have that for you in the digest coming up in our guest segment. Talking about the Fitchburg Fire Department and their cooking segment. Uh, we'll be uh, looking at that and then wrapping up the show, of course, with some national headlines. But first, let's get right into your headlines this afternoon. And it starts with the crime prevention picnic. Yeah, that's coming up this weekend. I had a chance to sit down with Lieutenant Chad Brecklin to preview this weekend's event. So our annual crime day picnic is coming up this Saturday, August 5th at McKee Farms Park. The event runs from noon to 3 p.m. It's an awesome opportunity for the community to come out and take a look at some of the public safety vehicles uh, and equipment and resources that are available in uh, Fitchburg and Dane County. And it's obviously an opportunity to interact with police officers and other public safety members and just quite frankly members of your own neighborhood or community. Uh, so it's been a long-standing traditional event here in Fitchburg and uh, again it's one of those uh, great opportunities for the community to come out see and interact with their local public safety um, friends and family so to speak. Yeah, I hope you all can make it out there this weekend it's gonna be fun again McKee Farms Park 12 to 3 o'clock again food fun displays of public safety and more hoping for some good weather on that. Uh, all right, important news coming up here. The neighborhood uh, debriefing of uh, the August uh, house explosion from last year, that was August 25th of 2016. Fitchburg Fire Rescue, Fitchburg Police Department, and the City of Fitchburg Government invite members of the Tower Hill uh, Association and surrounding neighborhoods uh, and neighborhood alike for a debriefing on uh, August 9th. We review and discuss the response, recovery, and investigation as they relate to the home explosion on August 25th. So if you uh, want to come out to this, it will be at City Hall here uh, in the city of Fitchburg. And of course, if you can't make it here, we will be broadcasting that live on our Gov channel. That's F3, the Gov channel. I wish it was called that. That'd be really cool. Uh, all right, moving forward here, uh, Safety in the Neighborhood event, a public forum uh, that will be happening on Thursday, August 24th. Uh, join Mayor Gonzalez, uh, Jason Gonzalez, Alders Adafrata, and uh, Dan Barr, along with Fitchburg Police Department and Highland of Seminole Neighborhood Organization for a public discussion, safety of our neighborhood. All are welcome to attend again August 24th, 7 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. over at the Fitchburg Public Library. Stop in. Uh, if you have a chance, and of course, we'll cover that one and broadcast that one live right here, uh, or again on our sister station, the uh, F3, the, the Gov channel. All right, the Learning Annex. Yeah, that's still going on. Fitchburg Senior Center Learning Annex. This month's uh, special guest is Tom Beer. He's from uh, WISC TV, uh, and he'll be talking about his journalism uh, career they spent in the newsroom of WISC TV. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Channel 3 is a CBS affiliate. Uh, and uh, he started as a weekend sports reporter in 1974, and then Tom was named WISC TV News Director in 1977, a position he held for 25 years. That's incredible. If you want to stop in for this, this will be on uh, Tuesday, August 15th at 2 o'clock p.m. And remember that we also tape these and rebroadcast them at a later date. You can check on our uh, comm channel for more information on when the Learning Annex broadcasts. We got a ton of them. There's a, been just a wonderful list of guests that have been on that show. Our last but not least headline this morning, we're talking about uh, a state law that's in effect. And Wisconsin DOT want to remind you, put the cell phones down. Well, you should put them down anyways, but put them down when you're in construction zones. Uh, so it says here, with the state's highway construction season reaching its peak, the Wisconsin State Patrol uh, July Law of the Month reminds motorists that recently enacted state law prohibits drivers from using a handheld mobile device 
in a Wisconsin work zone. Violators will face fines up to $40 for the first offense and then up to $100 for subsequent events or offenses. Yeah, still can't read. That's, that's just part of this show, right? Uh, either way, uh, there are no exceptions. Put the phone down. Uh, unless there's emergency, then, uh, you know, pull over, call 911 and follow that procedure. But uh, last year, there were over 2,800 crashes in Wisconsin work zones. That's crazy. With 1,110 injuries and nine deaths. While workers in construction zones are especially vulnerable, the majority of people injured or killed in work crashes are motorists. So uh, slow down when you enter those construction zones first and foremost. And remember, put down those electronic devices. All right, that is your headlines for this afternoon on a uh, kind of gloomy Friday. Hopefully uh, we get some uh, better weather this weekend. At least it's cooler out. So if you're like Preston, you enjoy the cool weather. Coming up next, we're going to open up the Fitchburg Digest with just in case you missed it. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg.